I want to take you to four geographical locations in scripture that are significant and has meaning and how we can understand better about new dimension. That the law of awareness, you must know yourself to grow yourself. And this is what I call the law of double portion. You must see yourself and value yourself to add value to others. You must value yourself. And you are going to be resurrected. You are going to receive new life. New vitality is going to come. Welcome to Life by Design with Pastor Alistair Smiley. Touching hearts, reaching communities, and changing lives. So get ready to be changed and transformed with one simple message. Jesus Christ saves, heals, and delivers. Be ready to start living your life by design because God has a plan for your life. Welcome to Life by Design. I am here to bring you the Word of God, to lift your spirit, and to encourage you so you know that God is for you and no power can be against you. I want you to get right with me into the Word of God, and I want to share with you on this topic, New Dimension, New Dimension. What I want to discuss with you, I want to take you to four geographical locations in Scripture that are significant and has meaning and how we can understand better about new dimension. What does it mean? A lot of times you will hear someone talk about new dimension. You need to come to the new dimension. But what does it look like? when you are moving from one dimension to, a, to another. In the Word of God, there are four places. One is Gilgal, the other is Bethel, Jericho, and Jordan. Those are four geographical locations. Now, Gilgal for me, I, I describe it as separation and consecration. And Bethel is divine encounter. Jericho is spiritual warfare where you fight principalities and power. And Jordan is spiritual death and resurrection. It's a crossing over. Jesus was baptized in River Jordan. It's symbolizing spiritual death, burial, and resurrection. This is the point of no return when you move from one dimension to another dimension, it's very important to understand that. And we're going to define that for you so you understand how important it is for you to make progress. I want to just give you a summary of this text in the book of 2 Kings, chapter 2. And this is about Elijah and Elisha. Then the, the Lord was about to take Elijah up to heaven in a whirlwind. Elijah and Elisha were on their way from Gilgal. Elijah said to Elisha, stay here. The Lord has sent me to Bethel. But Elisha said, as surely as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went down to Bethel. You see they're moving from one station to another. Then Elijah said to him, Stay here, Elisha. The Lord has sent me to Jericho. And he replied, As surely as the Lord lives, and as you live, I will not leave you. So they went to Jericho. There is another move there. Then Elijah said to him, stay here. 
the Lord has sent me to Jordan. And he replied, as the Lord lives and as you live, I will not leave you. So they both walk, um, walk on. You see here that all these different stations that Elijah went, Elisha went with him. And that's, those are the places that I want to use to bring out the principle of new dimension. Have you ever reached a place or a time in your life where you're thinking, there got to be more? Your heart aches. It cries out, I want more. There is a deeper dimension. Maybe you have nothing to compare it to, but your heart is longing. You just want to get more, more, maybe more out of life, more out of your marriage, more, more out of school, more out of your business, whatever it is, you want to go deeper. I want to submit to you, there is a next dimension in store for you that you can break out into and go into that um, dimension. If you have experienced such eye calling of God that is pulling you and propelling you to go to the next level, you will never be satisfied with where you are. And you never will be complacent because there is more in God. I just want to read for you a few words from um, William Arthur Ward of Texas, Wesleyan College in Fort Worth, Texas. He says, if you are wise, you will forget yourself into greatness. Forget your rights, but remember your responsibility. Forget your inconveniences, but remember your blessings. Forget your own accomplishments, but remember your debt to others. Forget your privilege, but remember your obligation. If you are wise, you will forget yourself into greatness. Forget your rights, but remember your responsibility. That's powerful. That is moving from one dimension to another. That is moving on. Are you willing to take that step? Hear what he says. Empty your days of the search for security and fill them with a passion for service. Empty your hours for the ambition of, for recognition and fill them with the aspiration for achievement. Empty your moments for the need for entertainment and fill them with the quest for creativity. Remember these truths. A person must soon forget himself to be long remembered. He must empty himself in order to discover a fullness of self. He must lose himself to find himself. Forget yourself into greatness and empty yourself into the adventure of life. Are you willing to do that, to move to the next dimension? I believe it was John Maxwell in one of his books talk about the laws of growth. And here are some of the laws that he described. He says that the law of awareness, you must know yourself to grow yourself. And this is what I call the law of double portion. This was what Elijah was anticipating. He wanted more. He was not satisfied with what he had. And he was saying to Elijah, I want to go to the next dimension to receive what God has in store for me. The law of the mirror. You must see yourself and value yourself to add value to others. You must value yourself. As a matter of fact, we are the apple of, of, of God's eyes. God value us. The scripture said we are fearfully and wonderfully made. But in order to move to the next dimension, you must value yourself. You deserve better 
God has something more in store for you and you can move to that level. The law of reflection, learning to pause, to allow growth to catch up with you. You got to pause some time to allow growth to catch up. That's the law of reflection. The law of consistency. Motivation gets you going. Discipline keeps you growing. It's important to discipline yourself in order to reach to the next level. And then the law of pain. Good management of bad experiences lead to great growth. That is important to move on to the next level. The law of the ladder. Character growth determine the heights of your personal growth. To move on, you have to develop your character. Consistency in quality and consistency in virtue must be there. And number seven, the law of the rubber band. Growth stop when you lose the tension of where you are and where you could be. God wants to stretch you. Many of us, sometimes we don't like pressure. We get discouraged when we comes under pressure. But just as a person who is a, an, a runner or somebody work out at the gym, when you want to develop those muscles, you got to stretch yourself. You got to work hard and it will put pressure on you. Hear me. Sometimes those pressure, the enemy or your circumstances may be using them to destroy you, but you can use them to strengthen you, to move you to the next level because God want to take you to the next um, dimension. You see, all of us have what I call set point or limitation. Limitation and set point in our lives create comfort zone. We're comfortable with certain things, but the more we are comfortable, it's harder or impossible to move to the next level. We got to be able to stretch ourselves to move to the next dimension. Hear me, our experience and our exposure and our awareness create comfort zone and set limitation over life. Sometimes those limitations are in our minds and we cannot move to the next level. But Elisha did not have those limitations. He knew that there is a double portion in store for him. Hear me. Atmosphere is a response to, is, is respond to spiritual influences like messages through music, voices, patterns, system, body language, clothing, colors, way of speaking, facial expression, movie, media outlet. Atmosphere then sustained over time creates climates. And climate make it possible for certain things to happen in certain year, like certain climate for drugs, for prostitution, for certain climate, like if you eat certain food, you're more, more likely to come down with certain ailment or certain disease. Those climate will over time can plunge you into darkness and allow your life to be exposed to certain things. And climate sustain over time then create what I call foothold. Foothold is just an entry point to produce stronghold. And a stronghold is a fertile place for the enemy to operate freely in your life. And it's give the enemy boldness. It's give the enemy confidence to operate without resistance in your life. You, you got to aware that when stronghold is sustained over time, it's going to create a culture. It's going to create a belief system and a way of living. We will be right back after these messages. Discovering the Power of Joy by Pastor Alistair Smiley. The morning rays of the sun are breaking beyond the cloud of your darkness. 
Wake up now and get ready for your joy in the morning. Pastor Smiley does more than appeal to feelings. It is a book that clarifies the meaning of joy. Clarence Duff, PhD. Pre-order your copy today at pastoracmiley at gmail.com. Yes, when the climate is created and culture then will determine what's right, what's wrong, and then culture tells us what is the norm. We want to change those limitations. We don't want the mole of society, the mole of friends, the mole of your background, the mole of your education, whatever those impose situation in your life that will tie you down. I am telling you that there is a deeper and a stronger level that you can move to. I call it the new dimension or the next dimension. Listen what happened. We must take the journey to the next dimension. You see, in dimension, there are one dimension. In one dimension, what does it mean? I want to paint a picture for you. You see, the first dimension is this. I want you to imagine that you are walking on a piece of rope. And you can only go backwards and forward. That's just one dimension. It limits your capacity. It limits your mobility. It limits your activity. But God is saying, I don't want you to stay in one dimension. I want to take you to a next dimension where you can begin to see things differently. When you begin to dream new dreams, when your hope will come alive, your faith will come alive, and you will know that something that were impossible in the past, now they are possible because you are moving to the next dimension. Now, I want you to imagine with me that you're not, no, you're not walking on a rope, but you have a road to walk on. That is two dimension. Now, here what you can do in this two dimension, you can move straight, you could move sideways, and you now have an extended mobility in your dimension. You can move forward, you can move backward, and now you can move sidewards. That's two dimensional. You're moving on. And that's what God wants you to do. God wants you to make progress. Now, again, I want you to imagine with me that you are now at a higher dimension. And that is what I call three dimension. And in the three dimension, you can, not only, you can move forward, you can move backward, you can move sideward, and you can also go up and down. Those will give you more mobility. Now, hear me, when you move to the next dimension, it's give you more flexibility. It's give you more room. Hear me, whatever the devil has placed in you to limit you in that dimension that you're in, limit you your thinking, limit you financially, limit you spiritually, God wants to move you to the next dimension. Hear what happened to Elisha. Elisha said to Elijah, I don't want to stay here in this dimension. I want to move to a higher dimension. And you know what he asked for? He asked for a double portion of the anointing was, that was up and Elijah's life. Hear me. God want you to move from where you are and go deeper. God want you to succeed. God want you to triumph. But you got to have the determination to move on just like Elijah did. And then you got to understand in all those three dimensions, there is still some restriction because there is a fourth dimension of time. And the problem with time is time only goes one way. Time only goes one way. So it limits you. 
A perfect example of this is where time is concerned, and that is where you need to trust God and believe God. An example of that in the scripture where the, the Bible says that Sarah, the wife of a man of God by the name of Abraham, she was past child, the age of giving birth to a child. Now what happened because time is only moving forward, it's impossible in human term for her body now to go back into time and have the strength and the capacity to give birth. But only God can erase time. God can allow her body to be strengthened and in, in the case of Sarah, her body was strengthened and she was able to give birth. Hear me, you may think all your hopes are gone, all your dreams are gone, everything is just hopeless. You will never get it back together. I am telling you that God can stop the dimension of time. In other words, what you couldn't do 20 years ago, 30 years ago, or 50 years ago, God can allow you to do it now because with God, all things are possible. And that's what we see God did in the life of Sarah. God allowed her body to come alive and she was strengthened and able to give birth. Now, our mind has to be transformed. Our spirit has to be transformed. It has got to be renewed by the word of God in order for us to begin to understand and move to that level. You see, what time says is impossible, it will take the next dimension because the next dimension of faith will make things that are impossible possible. With God, all things are possible. Now, I want to bring you back to the principle that I was talking about. Those principles from Gilgad and Bethel and Jericho and Jordan. When you come to Gilgad, every one of us is going to have to reach that place where we come to a place called Gilgal in our lives. And it's called a place of separation. So in order to get to that next dimension, we have to separate, maybe from our friends. Maybe we got to rise above criticism. Maybe we have to rise above name calling. But we got to rise to that level and separate ourselves to move on to the next level. Elisha came under criticism, but he moved on from there. He didn't stop there. Listen where he moved on to. He moved on to a next station. And he come to a place called Bethel. You may be at Bethel, and it's a place of divine transformation. It's a place of divine encounter. It's called the house of God. And as you linger at Bethel, you need to understand that there's some great things are happening in your life, in your job, in your business, maybe in your finances, but you want something else. You want to move to the next level and you're not satisfied with that. You want to move to the next dimension. Now, you got to make a bold step and said, I'm not satisfied with just being at Bethel. I want to move to Jericho. And the scripture said they move on to Jericho. Hear me. You're going to come to a place of Jericho. And you're going to be bombarded with all kind of things of Jericho. It's where you are fighting spiritual warfare. It's where you got to speak to the walls of your problem. Will your problem become even bigger? The pressure become bigger. The weight become bigger. You have to trust God even greater. You have to work even harder. You got to believe more. And when you come to that place of Jericho, you got to stay strong strong in order to move to the next dimension. Guess what? You won't stop at Jericho because you want to break the walls down at Jericho. I don't know the walls that you face right now in your mind. I don't care what the wall you, you, you face spiritually. If you're going through spiritual oppression or spiritual warfare that is coming against you, 
I am telling you, when you move to that next dimension, guess what? Those walls will be falling down. I can see right now as I'm speaking to you, those walls are falling down. They are breaking down in the name of Jesus. Those walls that have confined you. Maybe your first generation, your, your grandparents, your family. God is breaking those walls down. And hear me, you know where you're heading? Finally, you're heading to a place called Jordan. And Jordan is a place where you will die to self. Jesus was baptized in Jordan. But not only baptism take place at Jordan, resurrection take place at Jordan. And you are going to be resurrected. You are going to receive new life. New vitality is going to come into your being. You're going to know like you know that you will move on to the next dimension because you're going to sense some freedom in you. Freedom to do things that you've never done. You're going to be motivated. You're going to be inspired to believe God for more. Hear me. God can take you. Your faith in God can take you there. If you believe God, you will get to go to that level. You will break down the, the barrier that humans set up. The barrier that are man-made. The barrier that are placed there in your mind, in your emotion. So in the name of Jesus Christ, I come against every barrier that confronts you. Every weight that confronts you. Everything that the enemy tell you, you couldn't move to the next level. Right now you're stepping out and you're moving to that level. And God is transforming your life and changing your destiny. And you know that your life now will be on course. It will be on purpose. Your life will be purpose driven because you were designed with a purpose. In Jesus Christ's mighty name, let your freedom reign right now. Let your victory manifest over your life and your sons and your daughters. I cancel every plan to the enemy right now. And I said in the name of Jesus, if you're sick, be healed. If you have unconfessed sin in your life, confess it to the Lord. If you need forgiveness, go to God and say, God, forgive me of my sin and wash me in your blood. And he will forgive you of your sin and he will take your place where you have never been and move you to that next dimension. God bless you. Thank you for watching. In Jesus' name, see you soon. This has been a presentation of Life by Design with Pastor Alistair Smiley, where God is turning impossibilities into reality. Please drop us a line. Send us your prayer request at the address shown on the screen. Thank you for watching.